to PaintShopIsPro.com with photographer Nicholas Haskell. Hey folks, Nick Haskins here. Welcome to PaintShopIsPro.com. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the unsharp mask. Um, it's basic sharpening. Uh, it's one of the most reliable, uh, one of the most easiest ways to sharpen an image. Uh, I'm not quite sure why they call it an unsharp mask. Um, it does just the reverse, um, but nonetheless, it's called the unsharp mask. So we'll go ahead and get started. Control O, open up your picture. And in this case, I have them somewhere in here in this mess of folders. There we go. There's an uh, awesome picture here of Ivan, a uh, model shoot from a couple weeks back. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is always when you make adjustments, make a duplicate layer. Uh, that's what you can do is layer, duplicate. We're going to go right into it, adjust, <coughs> sharpness, unsharp mask. Um, the settings here are what I have found to work um, the best, however with your pictures they may be different. Uh, radius strength clipping. Radius is the amount, is the distance uh, rather in pixels of the sharpening that is being applied. The strength is of course how much sharpening is being applied. And the clipping is actually uh, the lightness of the pixels around the area that's being sharpened. So as you can see in here, um, radius, if we bump the radius up, watch your preview image in here, we'll get a lot worse. It's just increasing that distance of sharpening. And as you can see, off, on, off, on. So we usually we'll keep this down at around, uh, at around two to three. Strength is usually up around 100 or so. Um, and clipping the lightness, I usually leave around 10. So we'll go ahead and click OK. Um, this is where the cool part comes in. Uh, there's two different ways to do this. You can do this to the original image, which I do not suggest because if you do mess up, then you can just automatically delete the layer and start over. Um, what I like to do is create the duplicate layer, uh, apply your unsharp mask to that second layer, and then what you're going to do is you're going to bring your opacity down a little bit. So this way you have more control over your sharpening. You can zoom in here so you can see. Gotta love this about Crow Paint Shop Pro. You can just use a scroll bar and zoom. Can't do that in Photoshop, can you? Anyhow, uh, go down here. But as you can see, we'll go down to zero and a hundred, zero, and you can see the hair. Watch the uh, hair up here. You'll see that change. A hundred, zero, a hundred, zero. So I usually like to keep this around 60, 70 or so. Whatever looks good. You can see his eyes. The sharpness around his eyes are changing as well. So. You just have a little bit more control this way. Uh, we'll leave this at around 70. And then you'll scroll back out. Uh, layers, merge, merge all, flatten, and then you're done. There's your picture. We'll go ahead and uh, open up our original. You might not be able to see much of a, uh, of a difference here, but uh, we'll see what happens. I'll scroll in here so you can see. And here's our old and here's our new. You can see it's uh, basically all Unsharp Mask is doing is adding contrast to those lines between dark and light. Uh, a little bit of difference there. Not too bad at all. I like it. My name is Nick Haskins. Thanks for stopping by to PaintShopIsPro.com. We've got lots of stuff in works. Got lots of fun tutorials in the works in the future. So thanks for stopping by and supporting us. Talk to you next time.